hello everyone let's find the value of x in this problem but I'm thinking if this is going to give us a real solution 3x squared minus 1 equals x squared from here we can collect like terms collect like terms together so we have 3x squared minus x squared equals 1. Now 3x squared minus x squared will give us 2x squared and this is equal to 1. Now divide both sides by 2 so that x squared will be alone. This will go with this. Now x squared is equal to 1 over 2. But do not forget that we should remove this square from here so that we can get the value of x. And to remove the square, we will square both sides. We'll take the square root of both sides. So this is equal to plus or minus square root of 1 over 2. Now this and this will cancel each other so that x is equal to plus or minus square root of 1 over 2. And what does this mean? It means that x is either equal to square root of 1 over 2 or negative square root of 1 over 2. Now, if we put these two values into the original equation, which is 3x squared minus 1 equals x squared, do you think we will be correct? Now, let's give it a try. Now, let's work with this value first. So, we're going to have 3 multiplied by square root of 1 over 2 to the power of 2. Then we have minus 1. Will this be equal to um, square root of 1 over 2 to the power of 2? This is what we're going to get. This is this. And the whole of this, you know, give us this. Now, this and this can cancel. So we have 3 multiplied by 1 over 2 minus 1. Then on the other side, this and this will cancel. And we have 1 over 2. Do you think what we have on the left is equal to what we have on the right? Now from here, we can open this bracket. So we get 3 over 2 minus 1. Now, do you think this is equal to 1 over 2? Let's keep going. This is over 1 as well, right? The LCM of the left hand side is 2. Then 2 divided by 2 is 1 times 3 is 3. Minus 2 divided by 1 is 2 times, times 1 is um, 2. Now, can you see that this is equal to 1 over 2? Yes. Because 3 minus 2 will give 1. Then this is over 2. And it's equal to 1 over 2. So this is to confirm that x to be equal to square root of 1 over 2 is satisfying. Now you can try the second value of x, which is um, negative square root of 1 over 2. You can try it out and see if it would um, equally satisfy the, the equation. Thank you for watching.